The Triassic period, which lasted from 251 to 199 million years ago, was a time of great change on Earth. It was during this time that the first dinosaurs appeared, paving the way for the age of dinosaurs. Today we're going to take a look at the top 10 dinosaurs of the Triassic period. Imagine if you had a home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. A universe where you can live and learn all you want about the ancient creatures that occupy your mind. Find it only here on the Dinosaur Channel. Welcome to the Dinoverse. Welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel, ladies and gentlemen, where we explore the magnificent world of prehistoric creatures. Today, we're going to take you on a journey back in time to the dawn of the age of dinosaurs, when the Earth was a very different place. Welcome to the Triassic period. It lasted over 50 million years. This period was a time of great change and evolution, marked by volcanic activity, climate change, and the emergence of new life forms. It was during this period that the first dinosaurs actually appeared on Earth and laid down the foundations for the greatest era of life on Earth. So get ready to be inspired and awed as we explore the top 10 dinosaurs of the Triassic period, and discover the fascinating stories behind these ancient beasts. From the fierce predators that roamed the land to the soaring flyers that ruled the skies, these dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures are a testament to the incredible diversity and resilience of life on our planet. So let's begin. But right before we do that, I want to make sure you subscribe to the Dinosaur Channel, your home on the internet, and hey, become a member on our channel. It'll go a long way to support us and help us keep making these amazing videos for you. Also, don't forget to smash us with a dino-sized thumbs up and let us know your favorite dinosaur from the Triassic period and why it is your favorite dinosaur from the Triassic period. And let's get into it. Number 10 on our list is the Aeoraptor. This is a small bipedal dinosaur, which was one of the earliest known dinosaurs living around 231 million years ago. Weighing in at around 22 pounds, this dinosaur stood around 1.5 feet tall and 3 feet long. Aeoraptor's name means Dawn Plunder, and is believed to have been one of the earliest members of the sauropod family. Aeoraptor had a small head with sharp teeth and powerful jaws, which it used to catch and kill its prey. It had large eyes and a well-developed sense of smell, which helped it locate its prey even in low conditions. Aeoraptor lived in what is now Argentina, and its fossils were first discovered in the, there's no way I'm going to pronounce this one right, Ishigualusto Formation in the 1990s. Ishigualusto Formation. The Ishigualusto Formation in the Geological Formation is in Argentina, it contains some of the earliest known dinosaur fossils. While it was a carnivorous predator, its diet was likely varied, consisting of small animals such as lizards and insects, but also scavenged larger animals. Scientists believe that the Eoraptor played an important role in the evolution of dinosaurs, as it was one of the earliest known dinosaurs to have actually evolved. So you can think of this dinosaur as the grandfather of dinosaurs, old grandpa Eoraptor. At number 9, we have the Hererasaurus. This predator was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs of the Triassic period, growing up to 20 feet long and weighing over 770 pounds. Hererasaurus means Herera's lizard, after the rancher who discovered the first fossils ever in 1958 in South America. Hererasaurus was a bipedal dinosaur with a muscular body and powerful legs. Its forelimbs were shorter than its hind limbs, and its sharp claws on both its hands and feet. Its jaws were also lined with razor-sharp teeth, which it used to hunt and tear apart its prey. This dinosaur was also known for its speed and agility. It was a fast runner, which helped it pursue its prey and avoid danger. Its keen sense of smell and sight also made it a super skilled hunter. There's no scientific evidence currently that proves whether Hererasaurus hunted in packs or took on a solo role. We can, however, make an inference based on the other carnivores and carnivorous dinosaurs that may have chosen to play in a solo game. The Hererasaurus was also a territorial animal and it likely defended its territory fiercely. Its muscular body and sharp claws would have been formidable weapons in its battles against other predators. As for its diet, the Hererasaurus was a carnivore and ate a variety of animals. It lightly preyed on smaller dinosaurs, reptiles, and mammals. It was an opportunistic feeder and may have scavenged for food when necessary. Number 8 on our list is the Coelophysis. The Coelophysis was a slender and agile dinosaur that lived 210 million years ago during the Triassic period. This small but mighty predator was one of the most common dinosaurs of its time. Coelophysis means hollow form, 
which comes from its hollow limb bones, which gave it a light build, allowing it to be swift and agile. The Coelophysis was a small, carnivorous dinosaur measuring around 9 feet in length and weighing around 40 pounds. Despite its size, it was a fierce predator with sharp teeth and claws. The bipedal carnivorous theropod was fast, like Sonic, able to grab all little reptiles and insects, getting the highest score out of all other dinosaurs in this period. The Coelophysis lived in what is now North America, specifically in the southwestern United States, to all the way in South Africa and Zimbabwe. It is speculated that because it was a versatile animal, it could thrive in a variety of habitats including forests, swamps, and arid regions. Coelophysis was likely a social animal and probably lived in groups. Fossils have been found indicating that these animals may have died together, suggesting that they hunted and lived in packs together. However, there's also evidence that they may have been cannibalistic feeding on members of their own species. This was due to the discovery of a baby Zillophysis near the abdomen region of an adult, but this is also just speculation. This carnivorous dinosaur likely preyed on small animals such as insects, lizards, and fish. The Zillophysis is also notable for its skeletal structure. It had a long, thin neck and tail, and its bones were hollow and lightweight. The design allowed it to be quick and agile, but also made it vulnerable to injury and attacks from predators. Did you know that scientists believe that Coelophysis may have had feathers? That's right, this small dinosaur may have been more like a fluffy bird than the fierce predator we imagine. Imagine seeing a pack of fluffy Coelophysis running around. Anyways, on to the next dinosaur. At number 7 we have Platyosaurus. This herbivorous dinosaur was one of the largest of the early dinosaurs growing up to 30 feet long and weighing over 4 tons. Its body was shaped like a typical sauropod with a long neck and tail and a small head. Its legs were thick and sturdy, and its feet had five toes with sharp claws for defense and traction. One of the most distinctive features of Platyosaurus was its thumb spikes, which were elongated and used for protection against predators and for fighting back. This dinosaur also had a unique system of air sacs in its body, which allowed it to breathe more efficiently and regulate its body temperature. As an herbivore, Platyosaurus primarily fed on plants such as ferns, horsetails, and conifers. It used its beak-like mouth to strip leaves off of trees and its strong jaw muscles to grind them up. Its teeth were continually replaced throughout its lifetime, ensuring that it could always chew its food effectively. Platyosaurus was a social dinosaur and lived in a herd, making it easier to protect themselves against predators. They would also engage in duels with one another for mating rights for females. As we learn more about Platyosaurus, we can't help but be amazed by its sheer size and unique adaptations. But what can we learn from this ancient creature? Perhaps the most inspiring thing that Platyosaurus is its ability to adapt and thrive in its changing world. Despite facing numerous challenges, this dinosaur was able to survive millions of years and evolve into new forms. It is believed that the Platyosaurus is the common ancestor of most sauropods. By living in herds and working together, these dinosaurs were able to overcome obstacles and protect each other from harm. In a world that often values individualism over collaboration, Platyosaurus offers a powerful reminder of the strength of unity. And that's our look at the amazing Platyosaurus, and let's move on to our next dinosaur. At number 6, we have the most famous dinosaur of them all, Godzilla. Kidding, kind of. Sitting in our number 6 seat is Goji Rasaurus. Goji Rasaurus was a medium sized theropod dinosaur measuring up to 18 feet long and weighing up to 330 pounds. It was named after the Japanese movie monster Godzilla, and its name means, this will be a shocker, uh, Godzilla Lizard. But don't let its pop culture name fool you, the Goji Rasaurus was a real life hunter equipped with a sharp sense of smell and excellent vision. It lived in what is now North America, specifically in the southwestern region of what is now the United States. I know it's a bummer that it wasn't found in Japan, but the Gojirasaurus might not have been the size of Godzilla, it sure did pack a punch. The original Godzilla movie actually depicted the Gojirasaurus as the unmutated form of Godzilla. These skilled creatures had to be at the top of their game to hunt, which consisted of small to medium-sized prey, such as reptiles, small mammals, and other dinosaurs. The Gojirasaurus was a bipedal dinosaur, meaning it walked on two legs and had a long, slender body with powerful legs and a long tail for balance and maneuverability. In terms of behavior, the Gojirasaurus was likely a solitary hunter, using its sharp sense of smell and excellent vision to locate prey. It may have also been a scavenger feeding on the remains of other animals. Gojirasaurus had sharp, serrated teeth, which it used to tear flesh from its prey. Its arms were relatively short, and its three fingers on each hand with sharp claws made it very, very dangerous. Its legs were longer, with three toes on each foot, also armed with sharp claws. And there you have it, folks. That's the Gojirasaurus, a fierce predator that lived in the early Jurassic period. Hopefully, next time you see a Godzilla movie, you will remember this little guy. At the big five, we have the Tawahale. 
So let me begin by saying that yes, I know it doesn't sound like one of our normal dinosaur names, and that's exactly why it sits on number 5 on our list. Let's meet the Tawahale dinosaur, a fascinating creature that once roamed the Earth during the late Triassic period around 215 million years ago. Not only did it appear 250 million years ago, but it also debuted in the IMAX 3D film Dinosaurs Alive. That's right, this little guy is more famous than most people give it credit for. This dinosaur named after the Hopi word for Pueblian sun god was found in the Hayden Quarry of Ghost Ranch, New Mexico. The Tawahale stood around 2 to 3 feet tall at the hip and measured approximately 6 to 10 feet in length, weighing around 33 pounds. Its body was characterized by a slender build and lightweight frame, reflecting its agile and fast-moving nature. The dinosaur's forelimbs were comparatively shorter and less developed. They likely played a role in maintaining balance and stability while running, but were not primarily used for grasping or manipulating objects. One interesting thing hypothesized about this creature was that it had cervical air sacs, which would assume the origin of the Neotheropoda and possibly the ancestor of the Ceriscians. Number 4 on our list is Riojosaurus. Riojosaurus was a dinosaur that lived during the Triassic period, obviously. Riojosaurus, meaning a Rioja lizard, was named after the La Rioja province in Argentina, where it was found in the Los Colorades formation by Jose Bonaparte. Riojasaurus, also Riojasaurus, was a large dinosaur measuring around 22 feet in length and weighing about an estimated 2 tons. Its body was robust and elongated with a long neck and tail, making it quite an imposing figure. The Riojasaurus was a herbivore feeding on a variety of vegetation that was abundant in this environment. It possessed rows of sharp, leaf-shaped teeth ideal for cropping and shredding plant material. Analysis of its teeth indicate a diet primarily consisting of ferns, cycads, and other primitive plants of the Triassic period. The Riojasaurus is believed to have been a social dinosaur living in herds or groups. Fossil discoveries of multiple individuals in close proximity suggest a gregarious nature. Living in groups likely provided benefits such as enhanced protection against predators and increased chances of finding food sources. The Riojasaurus had several unique characteristics. Its long neck and tail aided in foraging, allowing reach vegetation both high and low, its sturdy limbs and broad feet supported its weight and enabled it to move efficiently on land. Additionally, recent studies have suggested that it might have possessed air sacs in its body assisting in lifting its heavy head above. It had four sacral vertebrae instead of three which set itself apart from all of the sauropartomorphs. The Riojasaurus is thought to have been a cathemural, meaning it was active through the day at short intervals. And that's the Riojasaurus. Next up at number 3, let me introduce you to the Staricosaurus, a dinosaur that may not be the biggest or flashiest, but it surely had its quirks. Its name, meaning Southern Cross Lizard, roamed the ancient landscapes of what is now Brazil, leaving behind a trail of fossilized remains that give us a tantalizing glimpse into its life. The Staricosaurus was a carnivorous hunter, always on the prowl for a tasty meal. Its slender, sharp teeth were adapted for tearing into flesh, even though it was pretty tiny. Measuring at only 26 pounds, this tiny fellow measured around 7 feet long and about 3 feet high. The Storicosaurus called the lush forests and riverine ecosystems of Brazil its home. In this verdant environment, it stealthily maneuvered through dense vegetation, ever watchful for potential prey. It likely employed stealth and ambush tactics, patiently stalking its prey before launching into swift and calculated attacks. The most defining characteristic of this dinosaur is the two vertebrae joints joining the pelvis to the spine. The characteristic was distinctive in primitive conditions. With sharp serrated teeth, there wasn't any kind of animal this guy wouldn't rip into. Its long tail had over 40 caudal vertebrae and was held straight and is one of the defining features paleontologists used to distinguish this guy from other dinosaurs. At number 2, we have Procomsognathus. The Procomsognathus, my dear friends, was a fascinating dinosaur that roamed the Earth during the late Triassic period over 200 million years ago. This small, fast-moving dinosaur was one of the earliest known predators of the Triassic, measuring approximately 2-3 to three feet in length. Imagine a slender and agile dinosaur with a compact body, long hind limbs, and a tail acting as a counterbalance. Well, that's what this guy looked like. Its lightweight frame allowed for swift movements and quick directional changes. Its delicate jaws housed sharp teeth perfectly suited for a carnivorous diet. Fossil evidence also suggests that it predominantly feasted on small animals including insects, lizards, and possibly even hatchling dinosaurs. Its specialized teeth allowed for precise capturing and dispatching of its prey. To be honest, not much is known about this little guy because most of the fossil remains are of poor quality. What we do know from what was found is that he lived in what is now known as Germany. 
Yep, this was a German and probably had a good taste for beer. In all seriousness, this dinosaur holds great importance in our understanding of the past, and this is why he sits at number two. Number one on our list is the Niesasaurus. The Niesasaurus, meaning lake lizard, is a dinosaur from the Middle Triassic era. So picture this, around 240 million years ago in what is now present day Tanzania, there lived Niesasaurus, known as the earliest dinosaur to have roamed the earth. This dinosaur was likely the great, great, great grandparent of all dinosaurs, paving the way for the incredible diversity of these creatures that followed. The Neonosaurus wasn't large or flashy as some of the later dinosaur relatives, measuring only about 6 to 10 feet in length and weighing in at around 100 to 135 pounds. But don't let its size fool you, it was a trailblazer in its own right. One fascinating aspect of Neonosaurus is its age. The Neonosaurus had a body structure that was a blend of reptilian and dinosaurian features. It had a long neck and tail, allowing for agility and balance. Its limbs were positioned beneath its body, giving it an upright posture, quite a departure from the sprawling limbs of its reptilian ancestors. As for its diet, Neasasaurus was most likely a carnivorous dinosaur, which meant it had a taste for meat. It may have preyed upon small animals that it shared its ancient ecosystem with, using its sharp teeth to grab and devour its unsuspecting victims. It was all about survival of the fittest back then. This guy sits in our number one spot since he's the oldest dinosaur ever been found in our current time and is probably the father of all dinosaurs. Well, maybe not, but you get the point. And there you have it, our top 10 list of the most fascinating dinosaurs of the Triassic period. These incredible creatures roamed the earth millions of years ago and continue to captivate our imaginations to this day. Thank you for joining us and be sure to check out our other dinosaur videos for more prehistoric fun. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Dinosaur Channel, your home on the internet for all things dinosaur prehistoric. Smash us with a dinosaur thumbs up, and hey, become a member on our channel. It'll go a long way to helping us keep creating these amazing videos for you. See you on the next one. Goodbye.